Jesus, my Redeemer, there is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace.
Chapter 3, verses 3 to 5. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire! Small but deadly. Our tongue is little, but it can boast great things. Through it, our words reveal what is already in our hearts. Whenever we speak, our tongues don't act alone. Our words come from a deeper source, our hearts. Words have the power to encourage or discourage, liberate or manipulate, build up or tear down. Although spoken words cannot be physically seen, their power is immense. We need to be reminded that as his followers, the Lord has already transformed us through the cross, and he has given us the gift of eternal life. It's hard, but godly disciplines can be formed through habit and discipline, even self or tongue control. People will try and bring us down with negativity. Process it first. Is there some truth in it? Let's be humble, embrace it, and change for the better. If it is not valid, disregard it, respond, don't react, and leave everything to God. On the other hand, we might be guilty of saying negative things to others too. I pray that the Lord will enlighten us to repent, ask for forgiveness, and intentionally use our tongues to encourage, inspire, and affirm one another in love. Words are potent and powerful. They either inspire or destroy. Careless words can start a war, while gentle words can heal hearts. We will be accountable for the words we speak in Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. Let us be reminded and practice the godly habit of self-control when it comes to our tongue and temper. Prayer Lord, may the Holy Spirit guide me, especially when my temper rises. May my words be sprinkled with your love. May my actions reflect Christ's. Thank you for the reminder, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen.